Good morning and praise the Lord. Let us read Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1. Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest in at any time we shouldn't let them sleep. Hallelujah! Sometimes we need this verse for this season particularly because the, this says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Because this is the season we are or we get more involved in the celebration, in the decoration, in the shopping malls, the Christmas trees, the plum cakes, everything, everything which we have. We, in other words, all our mind is set for the decoration, our mind is set for the things to buy, to cook, to, um, to distribute, the gift which we wanted to buy, so many things will be in our mind. So the Hebrew, the author of Hebrew says, we should not slip from the words which we heard. Because we know that when we slip back, we need to we need to come back again. Many times it's happened. When we are occupied with so many things around us, we forget what is the reason for this celebration. Let us not deviate it from the reason. The very reason of our celebration is Jesus Christ. When the things goes well, when we are happy, we celebrate. But don't forget to dig deep into the word of God. That's the reason God told to Joshua, Joshua, meditate this word day and night. Let it not depart from you. Because whatever the season, whether we are in the season of joy or you are going through a season of sadness, the word will help you to move forward and upward. The word will give you life. So when you are thinking to move forward or even in the midst of a celebration, remind yourself of all the promises God has given in your life, all the promises He has given in your life because He is a promise keeper. And all the promises in Jesus Christ is A and Amen. So let not the schemes of the devil or the trick of the devil deviate you from the very reason of this celebration. The schemes can make you to completely involved morning to evening or 24 into 7 into the celebration. But don't forget, always have that close connection with the Lord, close fellowship with Jesus Christ. There you stand strong. Let us not give any loopholes for the devil to creep into our lives, into the season of this joy and celebration. As Apostle Paul says to Timothy, have a good fight of faith so that you won't fall, you will stand straight. So let this season be a season of reminding yourself the promises of God in your lives and let Jesus be the center of your lives today. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Thank you for this season, Lord. Thank you for you. You brought this celebration to us, Father God. Celebrating you, Lord Jesus. Keeping you as the center of our lives, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. Father, I pray that all those who are celebrating, all those who are in this season, let them not deviate from you, Father God. Help them to dig deep into the word of God, Lord. So that, Lord Jesus, in every season, Father God, they can stand firm, Lord. Keeping or focusing on you, Focusing their eyes upon you, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day. Christmas everybody Christmas Antene Anandam 
ఆనందంలోనే పరమానందం తండ్రి చేసిన ప్రారంభం అది లోకానికే బహుమానం